Hey, what's up guys, Bobo here. So uh, today is my first tutorial for uh, this summer. Uh, I'm planning on making new tutorials. I was thinking of making an update video, but uh, I didn't get footage to put in the background and uh, I think I'm just gonna skip over it. So uh, basically I'm gonna make a new series of tutorial this, uh, this summer for you guys. You guys have been waiting for it for a while and uh, I know, I'm sorry about that. I just got really busy this year with school and stuff. So I didn't really have the time to edit tutorials, but right now I have a lot of time, so I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, so this is my first one. I'm gonna show you, it's actually a remake of an old, an old tutorial I've made, uh, which was the character uh, texture improvement. So uh, basically what I'm gonna show you in this one is how to uh, make a smoother, uh, better looking uh, character in your uh, wallpaper. I'm gonna show you how to get a smoother version of the one mil screenshot that you get. So uh, on, the, on the right right now, uh, on the right here, um, this is the screenshot you're gonna get from Wildmodel Viewer. And uh, it looks all pixelated. See the hair, the, the hair here, it's all cut off. The shoulders are really rough, doesn't look great. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you how to get a screenshot like this. See how smoother it is, how the face is just better. The facial features are just smoother. Everything is smoother. It just, it's not rough. There's nothing rough about this uh, screenshot. It just like I got rid of almost all the pixels. So, uh, I mean, the rough pixels, not the, the pixels themselves. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to do a little comparison real quick. Put this, uh, the, raw, the raw one on top. So as you can see, like the face, especially. Get like this. See the difference in the face? This one's smoother. This one is really, really rough. So yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick how to get to this. It's really simple. You only up, you only apply basically two filter to your character, and you're pretty much done. So I'm gonna get rid of the final product here and delete it. So this is what you're gonna start with. This is your raw screenshot that you get from Wildmill Viewer. Once you get rid of the, the background color, this is what you get. So now uh, I've basically skipped over the gathering of the color and uh, I have just imported it in my, uh, my other wallpaper kind of thing. So yeah, so basically once you import your screenshot, that is, got it. Now uh, I'm gonna show you what to do. So first of all, this is your raw screenshot. You're gonna save it. You're gonna make a backup of it and then duplicate it twice and uh, you're gonna turn off one of the three layer you're gonna get just to make sure you have a backup in case you mess up uh, one of the steps, all right? So first step, you left click on your rock actor, your rock screenshot, and you click on Control J. You click it twice. There you go, Control J. And uh, you've, got, you've got three screenshots now, they're all the same. There's no difference, they're just duplicated layers. It's three times the same layers. So uh, you're gonna turn off the last one here. I have already renamed it, but you're gonna rename it raw or whatever, like basic layer, whatever you want. This is just your backup, your backup file. So you're gonna turn it off here. You're gonna left click on the little eye and there you go. You've got two of the same screenshot. So uh, we didn't apply anything yet, it still look rough. Uh, but yeah, now we're gonna apply our first filter. So on the first layer here, the second copy uh, of your rough uh, character screenshot, you're gonna left click on it and go to filter here and go to oil paint. This is the first filter you're gonna apply. So just click on it. There you go. And now you should have predetermined, pre predetermined settings and uh, you're gonna play with them a little bit. I'm gonna tell you which one to play with. You're gonna play with cleanness and stylization, all right? So what you're gonna do is turn off, first of all, the shine setting here. You're gonna put it to zero. You're not gonna play with angular direction at all, and you're not gonna play with bristle details at all. You're not gonna play with scale either. And uh, you're just gonna play with stylization and cleanness. There's no... Uh, there's no predetermined settings for cleanness and stylization. It's to your discretion. You're gonna decide whether what you want to put it here, when you what you want to put it there. Sorry, 
Um, but yeah, it really depends on the size of your screenshot. So uh, I can't really tell you what to put there. It's going to be your choice. But basically what Cleanless do, uh, Cleanless, it, uh, it blurs your character, basically. So the more stylization you've got, the less cleanness you want to apply because the, if you just apply a little bit of cleanness to a, a stylization that's like to 9 or 10, it's going to blur the crap out of your layer and it's going to look all messed up. So I'll always apply just a little bit of cleanness to my, uh, to my character and the stylization will really depends uh, on the screenshot you, you take. Especially it's going to depend on the race of your character. Uh, if you've got a, a Nork or a Night Elf, it's going to change. Uh, the Night Elf always look better when you put a lot of stylization in them um, because the, the face is always really pixelated and with the stylization, it's going to get rid of the pixels in the face. So um, you're just going to have to play with it by yourself. I can't really tell you what to do here. Uh, I'm just going to zoom on the character here, show you the difference it makes when I uh, apply more stylization. So, see, just looks blurry. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of it and then I'm gonna show you the difference it makes to your first basic layer. I'm gonna click OK. So I've put a 0.85 cleanness and a 2.62 uh, stylization. And uh, that's what I get. So I'm gonna click OK and show you what it does. So basically, if I zoom on the character, I've just applied the the, paint, the oil paint filter on it and see the difference. I'm turning it off and underneath there's the raw screenshot that we've got and you already, you already see that there's a big difference. So yeah, um, then once you've got that on your first layer, uh, you can decide to erase some parts of your character that maybe looks too blurry. Maybe like you're gonna decide that your shoulder look fine, but the face of your character is gonna look too blurry. So you're gonna take a erase tool eraser tool and maybe erase some of the part of your, your character's face like this. See what I'm doing? And since you've got a second layer underneath the one you've just applied the filter on, um, when you're gonna erase your first uh, screenshot with the oil effect on it, it's just gonna go straight up and show the face of your raw, your raw layer underneath. So uh, basically I'm gonna show you. I turn off my uh, raw layer and there you go. There's a f there's a hole in the face of my first uh, layer. So yeah, so that's just if your character uh, looks too liquefied or whatever with the old filter, you can erase some part of it. And because you've got the raw screenshot behind your uh, your character, well, uh, it's gonna show the the raw screenshot and uh, it's gonna pretty much adjust. Uh, the liquefaction so uh so yeah but on this character i'm not gonna do it because the night elf look actually just better when it's completely uh filtered with the the oil paint but I really, like i said it really depends on the race of your character so if there's some part that's too blurry or too liquefied just erase the first layer and uh once you've done that you're just gonna merge both of your layers together so it makes one. So both of them are going to be merged together and uh, it's going to create just one screenshot. All right. So uh, I'm done. Basically what I've done, applied the, lay, applied the oil paint uh, filter to the first one and I didn't do anything to the second one. The second one's basically just a, a, uh, a base. Uh, the raw one is pretty much just if you want to erase the first layer uh, to to see through it and see the face of your rock actor uh, if you want to erase some part of the, the first layer. So yeah, once you've done that, you're going to left click on your first layer with the oil filter and hold shift and then so, uh, left click on the second one on your layer pretty much and just right click on it and click merge layers. So now you've got only one screenshot. All right. And you're gonna do the same thing we did in the first, uh, before applying the oil uh, filter, you're gonna click on Control and J 
on your keyboard is going to duplicate your character you can just left click on one of your layer two and duplicate it from here see the option is right here but uh, i always use ctrl j just faster and it's easier so uh, there you go now you've got two layer and you're going to select the second one now and you're going to apply a gaussian blur filter to it so you're going to go into filter go to blur click on gaussian blur and uh, usually I apply between a 0.5 radius pixel to a 1.7. Maybe otherwise it just looks too blurry and you don't want to see a blur line around your character. You don't want to, if you put it like like 9 or whatever, it looks like it's, your character is glowing. Uh, you don't want that. So you just want this small line around your character. I'm going to show you. See when I'm turning it on and off. Just one small line like this, so that gets rid of some of the pixel around the character. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna apply a 1.3 to this screenshot once again. Uh, it really depends on your screenshot. There's no uh, predetermined settings or anything. You gotta play with it, play around it, start again, you know, just try. And uh, once you think it looks great, just click OK. And I'm going to show you the difference. Turning it, turning it on and off again. When you zoom out, you won't, you won't really see a difference. See, I'm going to turn it off now. You don't really see the difference that much here. I don't, I don't think you can see it on the recording. But if you zoom it, if you zoom in, I mean, like on small parts of your character, on thin part of your character, it's going to make a difference gonna get rid of some of the pixel and just make it look uh, smoother so uh, then once you're done with that you once again merge your two layers together so once again you left click on your first layer hold shift and then left click your second layer right click on it and then merge layers there you go so uh, you're pretty much done now uh, so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial it's just a small tutorial to show you uh, how to get a, a smoother character and uh, how to get a good base for your wallpaper. It's always, it's always good and fun to have a, a good looking screenshot to start with. All right, guys, so that was pretty much it for my first tutorial of the summer. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm gonna get better at it eventually, I promise. But yeah, so in my next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to uh, do some lighting on your character. Uh, create some light on it, just make it fit uh, a little bit better into your uh, wallpaper, screenshot, or a screenshot, uh, chat block, or whatever you're making. Uh, it's going to look more realistic, and I'm going to show you how to do it next time. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.